Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. There is a right square pyramid. We place a ring on each of a pair of two opposite edges. The distances from the rings to the vertices of the respective edges on the base are equal. But the sizes of the rings are negligible. We thread a rope through one of the rings, passing the base, and out of the other ring. This can be done in two ways. One is to pass through two adjacent edges of the base. The other one is to pass through the two opposite sides of the base. If the rope is tightened, would you like to prove, the rope needed to pass through the adjacent edges of the base, is shorter than the one needed to pass through the opposite edges of the base? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. At first glance, this question may seem baffling. However, if you've watched our videos on last two Fridays, you will find the question is surprisingly easy. As always, we first unfold this three-dimensional figure to a 2D plane. The base of a right square pyramid is a square. And the four lateral faces are four congruent isosceles triangles. The apex of the right square pyramid becomes the four apices of those congruent triangles, and the four edges become the eight legs of them. We mark the position of one ring as S on one leg. The position of the ring is fixed in the 3D pyramid, but on the 2D plane it appear on the legs of two isosceles triangles. The position of the other ring which we find by two adjacent base edges is P. And the position found by two opposite edges is Q. The so-called tighten the rope means that, we are going to find the shortest SP and SQ. Now it's easy to calculate them. The traditional way is to first mark several fixed lengths in the figure. And then by using the Pythagorean theorem. Calculate SP and SQ separately. It turns out that, SP is indeed shorter than SQ. However, there is a more intuitive way to think about it. A right square pyramid is symmetric, and its unfolded 2D figure also has four axes of symmetry. Two of them are the diagonals AC and BD respectively. P and Q are the same point in the 3D figure, and they are symmetrical about BD in the 2D figure. So line connecting them is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. In the same way, point S, and the other point D, in the 2D figure that has the same origin as S, are also symmetrical about BD. So their connecting line is also perpendicular to BD. Point S and point P are symmetrical about AC in the three-dimensional figure. And their isosceles triangles in the 2D figures are also symmetrical about AC. So S and P are symmetrical about AC as well. And the line connecting them is also perpendicular to AC. In the same way, the line between Q and T is also perpendicular to AC. Because AC and BD are also perpendicular to each other, SPQT is actually a rectangle. The side length SP of this rectangle must be shorter than the diagonal SQ. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.